Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, Mr. Black Doodles episode, which haven't happened for quite a long time, actually. I haven't really done any new ones for a while. So this is really lovely to be able to get back into it and, and to have another go and get onto the drawing side of things again. Um, what we are going to do today is we're going to draw a cat. Now, cats come in all different shapes and sizes. So my cat is going to be very much an illustrated cat, a, a cartoony kind of cat. Um, and when I make decisions about facial expressions, so smiles and eyes and eyebrows and colours and all that sort of thing, very much your own thing. But what I wanted to do is just go over the basics of how I would draw a cat. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see how we go. Right. First things first, I need to flip my camera around so you can see what I'm doing. Here's my piece of paper. You're going to need one too if you're drawing along. Here is my pen. I'm going to use a pen, but you can use a pencil. That would work perfectly fine here as well. In fact, I'm going to use two pens. I've got two pens here. One is uh, slightly thicker than the other. Um, so I'm going to use two different pens. But you can use whatever you can lay your hands on. Let me just focus this, make sure it's completely focused for us. Here we go. Right then. OK, so I'm going to start uh, in the middle of the page, but just up a little bit from the middle of the page. So not quite centre, just a bit higher than centre. We're going to start with this shape here, a bit like a rounded triangle. So it's going to go out like that and then round to this point here and up to here. OK, there you go. That's the first part of our cat. I wonder if you can tell which part that is. If you guessed nose, you're absolutely right. So from the bottom of the nose, it's going to be a short line down like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like that for now. I'm not going to put the mouth on just yet. What I want to do first is I want to draw the eyes. Now, when I draw a cat, it depends on what cat I draw, I suppose. Um, but I like to have the eyes quite close to the nose. It just gives it a different kind of effect for the cartoon. So um, about here, I'm going to start and I'm going to draw a nice circle. Take your time, no rush, doesn't have to be perfect, just like that. Now, I don't know why, but when I then have to go and draw a circle on the other side, I always find it a bit trickier than when I draw it there. Maybe it's because I'm right handed. I'm not sure. So what I like to do is I actually turn my paper upside down and I kind of try and make sure it's about the same distance away. And I try and make sure it's the same size as best as I can. Ooh, it's not too bad. It's a little bit flat at the bottom there. It doesn't matter too much. But there we go, two eyes. Now, my cat is going to be a bit of a sly cat. So I'm going to draw these two lines that are going to show his eyelids. So the eyelids are, the eyes are kind of half closed. And then just at the bottom of that line, just that's where my pupils are going to go. Sly cat. Just like that. There we go. It's coming along nicely now. And then from the mouth. Now I'm going to go back to this mouth part now. Because I'm going to have this kind of sly cat, my cat is going to have a little grin on its face. It's not going to be a moody, grumpy cat. It's going to have a grin. So from here. Up to there, that's one side. And then from this side, just the same again. There we go. One sly cat is coming along. Now cats have whiskers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some dots in here, either side. But I'm not going to add the actual whiskers yet, the actual lines of the whiskers. I'm going to do that a little bit later. Right then, next up, I'm going to draw its head. Now I'm going to draw my cat's head quite quite wide. It's going to be quite a wide head. Um, but if you watch what I do, you can kind of understand and you'll see my zig. I'm going to draw some zigzags in a minute. You'll see why I do that in a second. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to come 
out and round like this. Out and round like this. That's how it's going to be quite a wide head. But from here, I'm going to add in just a few zigzags. And this gives the impression that the cat is quite furry. It's got like this furry face. Okay, now you could carry that all the way around. If you wanted to carry that on, you could carry that on all the way around um, till it joins up again. And that's something you are more than welcome to do. And what I quite like to do is to kind of start again, but then kind of do these zigzags like this. Almost gives it like a furry chin. Like that. Now a cat also has, we know, lovely ears. Put some ears like that. They're not horns, they are ears. And we can show that by in the inside, just drawing the inside part of the ear there. Okay. Now this is where we start to think about the body. So I'm going to give my cat quite a funny thin neck. Okay, quite a funny thin neck. It's a bit of a cartoon. So, and then what I'm going to do from there, from that point, it's going to be quite a curved line. It's going to be a bit like a milk bottle, I suppose. It's going to come all the way down here like that. We're going to try and do the same the other side. Okay, just like that. It's not exactly the same both sides, but that's okay. Then what we would really ideally like to happen is these to kind of come in just a little bit towards the bottom. And we're going to put our feet like that. I'm just gonna have mine poking outwards. Up like that. Now these are the front legs and they're going to come up to about there. That foot is not quite working for me. It's a bit better. And now the back legs. We're going to have from here, from where this curve is, we're going to have extra curve that comes around like this. So on the other side. And we're going to have two more feet. They're going to be slightly hidden by the front legs. One, two, three. Well, oh, I can't draw feet on that side for some reason to do. And then just under here, just would be there. Okay, there's our cat sitting down. Now cats also have some tails, which are the tail. I'm going to start towards the bottom of the, the back. No, it's going to come out like that there. There we go. Yeah, not bad at all. Okay, now with a cat, what we also sometimes find is they have almost like cheeks, I suppose. So it almost comes from the nose, that comes around and down there. And that's where I like to put mine. And again, just around and down there. And this is where you can add in your whiskers. I like to do three. And now you can think about how you're going to design your cat. What's your cat going to look like? My cat is going to have some eyebrows just to make him look even more smug. I'm going to give a kind of 
patch on his chest, just there. You could have some stripes, you might have a stripy cat, you might have you know, any design on your cat really, it doesn't really matter, okay? Um, so there is the basic drawing of your cat. And now what we're going to do is I'm gonna give it a color and color it in. Um, speed this bit up, you can color it any color you want and then we'll come back and see how you did. All right then, let's go. And there you go. There we have our little cat. Um, we've gone for a bit of a, an orange gingery kind of cat. You can see where I've put some shading in um, around the, the grass on the bottom where it's sat, just around its neck, down the sides here, just where there's bits and pieces hiding. So, hey, uh, look, I hope you really enjoyed that. Um, maybe something just to keep you busy, something that, that keep you a bit occupied in these times um, and I hope that um, we will get to, to see more of you really soon and hey have fun drawing I'm sure there'll be more videos uh, stay safe take care and I'll see you again soon bye